Hey, good morning guys. Out here to give you your first look at your Solus Pocket 36A. I'm Mark Andrus with Winnebago. Out here with General RV to give you your first inside look at our 1500 platform van by Winnebago. Want to introduce to you the 1500 series platform from Ram ProMaster. Uh, that's going to be a 3.6 uh, six cylinder engine, you know, ranging in about 16 to 19 fuel economy, uh, 2,300 pounds of carrying capacity with this unit. Uh, it's going to be rated at a 3,500 towing capability. Make sure you're looking at the different chassis that we offer in the Solus. So going over some features of the Solus Pocket, we're going to have some nice options inside. Uh, this will have uh, Truma Vario heat, which is going to run off of propane heat and all your plumbing, everything inside the coach from your freshwater tank at 21 gallons, gray water tank at 21 gallons, and then also your freshwater pump would be all above your floor system and heated with Vario heat. Uh, that would run off your propane of this unit, uh, which we'll feature later in today. It's gonna offer also a uh, 12 volt refrigerator. It's gonna give you a nice easy access uh, to load this unit or, or whatever you need to do. Uh, again, this is standard with two group 31 uh, AGM batteries uh, that'll last a long time. Uh, gonna have some night outdoor features. It's gonna flip down, have a nice table here that's gonna be adjustable with the LRAC system. Uh, that will adjust down uh, into whatever space you need uh, to store your goods outside. Also standard is gonna be your nice bug screen. This is gonna do a drop down uh, system and also it's gonna zip down here and then have the nice magnetized area here and then also a tie to keep the pets from coming uh, in and out the unit as well. Also will feature keyless entry so you'll have power locks uh, for the driver and passenger door as well. And then also working your way around you're gonna have a sliding door here as well on the 1500 Ram ProMaster chassis. Uh, moving around the back, we're gonna discuss how we've got it above the floor tank system in this unit. And again, we briefly touched on that, but your water pump, fresh water tank, everything in this system is gonna be inside above the floor on this coach, which makes it a four season unit. It's gonna be all heated, uh, also with the insulation, we're going to run CNC routed insulation in all the doors, uh, the exterior, where most companies are going to use a bat and hung insulation. So the insulation value is much greater in this unit than most RVs. Also, this is going to be a Truma Gold rated uh, for heating, which means it'll exceed temperature ratings in a certain amount of time to make sure you're extending that camping season uh, to four, and I call it a five season camper. Uh, we've got a lot of nice features out here. You're gonna have your freshwater capacity. Uh, it's gonna hit, fill right here, freshwater drain. We'll have an outdoor spray port right here. We can turn our water pump on and on, on and off from back here. Um, on top, we're gonna have 170 watt uh, solar on this unit. We'll also have some additional plugs where you can go up to a 500 uh, watt system. This will be a 500 watt ZAMP. Uh, solar panel capability on this model. Uh, we'll have various plugs throughout the unit, 12 volt one uh, as well, 110, and then also USB ports here as well. Moving on around, when you get into talking about the Truma Vario, um, what we do is we offer a removable tank here. And that Vario heat is gonna run off your propane right here, but what we have is it's gonna make it really easy to uh, take this tank out uh, wherever you might be and trade that in for another tank. And that's gonna heat the whole coach uh, as well as uh, the front and back. And, and keep in mind, the, the Solus Pocket does not have a, a hot water heater system. You're also gonna have the MDQ uh, Coleman mock air conditioner. Keep in mind, this will be a platform van. Um, so you could add different components, but this will run off your 30 amp shore power. A lot of good storage back here. Uh, fuse. We've also got the l track system right here, and the main design in this is your bed is going to be high enough 
to store your gear back here. Um, you know, um, mountain bikes or whatever of that nature, you're gonna have be able to put that down. That is gonna be our Murphy bed. And, and one thing to keep in mind when we're talking about um, stuff that we do differently, uh, Winnebago is gonna offer a serial number. We build and manufacture about 75% of this RV right there in Iowa. So there's a lot of differences in capabilities, but that's what I like. You can, you can get this cushion in 20 years if you need it when you order from Winnebago. Nice storage countertop up on top. Uh, it's gonna make it nice if you're skiing. Uh, keep in mind, this is gonna be what I call a five season RV. So we got a nice countertop for work or whatever. Also, we're gonna close this unit up totally for heat and AC. Um, again, these are all gonna be Velcroed on. So this, what's nice about that is you can pop that up, have full privacy, but also a good insulation. And that gets us back to talking about the CNC routed insulation and all the doors, side raw, uh, and roof on this unit. Um, moving around, we've got the 3500 uh, tow hitch. This is gonna be for your lighter motorcycles or you know a bike rack or stuff of that nature. It's just gonna have the, the four round flat. But again, look at the difference in our uh, floor structure. We're gonna do an industrial type floor. I mean, this is all gonna be a uh, plastic, so it's not gonna uh, buckle when it gets wet or, or anything like that. So again, we run this industrial floor in most of our products at Winnebago. Uh, but just a nice look at the rear. We're gonna have a curtain rod back here, uh, which makes this nice. We can fold this up and close that door over and have a nice privacy or area back here in the, in the back of the, of the pocket. So stepping inside the 36A pocket, we've got a lot of stuff to talk about here. We've got the positive latch uh, cabinet's gonna be magnetized. Also, the steel brace is gonna help maintain stability. Um, also, we talked a little bit about this workbench, but again, I just wanna give you guys a visual of how the nicest is. Again, skiing, uh, setting up those skis, whatever that might be, you're gonna have enough room. Not a lot of good storage up here as well. Um, we'll put this back, and again, we do the Murphy bed in a lot of looks, and this is gonna give you a capability of sleeping to adults. Um, this is just gonna simply fold down, and then you'll slide these cushions accordingly, and then also you got the zip out uh, curtains here. They're gonna black out everything and also give you some good insulation features, but uh, that'll give you an idea of what the Murphy bed, how easy it is to set up, and then I'll take a, you know, a fitted sheet and wrap that around it and it's gonna be very comfortable to sleep in. You've also got your uh, push button lights that are easy to turn off and on. Um, and we'll just load this back up and get another look at it. Again, we got the L-Track gear holders here also along with your Molly. Uh, I like to think of as a pet. I like to travel with my animals. Uh, but that's gonna keep that area closed off the Molly door here. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of outlets again, uh, right here uh, at your fingertips, 110. And then also you're gonna have a, a lighted tank storage for your 21 gallon fresh water. That's gonna allow you to know how much fresh water you have. Uh, but keep in mind, we do offer the gravity fill. So that allows you to put fresh water in here without pressurizing the system. So again, uh, you're gonna be able to draw creek water, or lake water, whatever that might be, and, and put that water in there so you can maintain water. You might even be out in very cold temperatures and melt snow to fill up your fresh water tank. Because remember, all your fresh water tanks are gonna be above the line exactly with the, with the plumbing and so on in this model. Uh, the neatest thing about this RV is the capabilities of the booth. You know, we're only in a 17 foot, 10 inch van. And again, this is gonna be a multi-flex booth system. It's gonna make into a couch, day bed, and, uh, and also just different forms. I mean, you're gonna have good storage for your laptops, whatever it might be, with power ports. And then also, there's gonna have a, a hole right here to come through to get to your 12 volt, 110, or your USB ports. Um, but the main feature about this table is it's gonna have very high components. And we use the same kind of latches that we would use on uh, like a mountain bike to attach this furniture. But keep in mind, we could take this table, put this back on, have it back here. Uh, we can make this into a day bed, couch or whatever, but very high quality parts in this unit and they're very easy to operate and latch and untatch from this unit. Um, we'll, we'll go ahead and show this unit right here, take this out uh, to give you an idea of what this would look like. 
gonna have uh, child tethers in the rear of this, also three-point harness seat belts. Again, block out shades. Plenty of storage in this unit, along with your Vario heat ports. But again, uh, we're gonna have everything in one area. Um, your ZAMP control up to 500 watts. Remember, this is 170 solar watt on this unit, but we're also gonna have your Truma uh, Vario heat control here and also where your battery you can uh, run your water pump and so on in one place uh, for Winnebago. So we're gonna locate all the light switch, battery disconnect switch, 110 again up front uh, with power ports, and then along with all the buttons and, and controls will be in one place. Uh, got nice swivel seats, and again, you can set the table up, which we'll show uh, to sit up front in this RV to have a nice setup. Hey guys, just want to thank you for your time today. For more information on the Solus Pocket, reach out to General RV and get some information.